Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do empties. I actually did really good this month with empties and I'm talking, I have so many products in here that I actually didn't want to do the empties yet and I had to. I was forced. So let's get right into this because this might be forever freaking long. I mean, this is a lot of shit. <laughs> First thing here is the Crest 3D White Arctic Fresh Mouthwash. Now, I actually had a generic kind of this, and I said that it really foamed up and left that foam in my mouth, and I ended up having to rinse my mouth with water after using that, and I didn't like it, so I wanted to get the actual Crest one and see if it was better. It wasn't. I'm guessing that just the whitening kind of stuff, it has that probably peroxide in it or something, and it just foams up and leaves those white foamies all over in your teeth. And it's really just uncomfortable. And my husband didn't like it either. So we went back to just the 3D Crest. And it's like the blue kind. Because the whitening is just too much. And we already have a whitening kit that we use. And the Smile Brilliant. And we really, really like that. And it works perfectly. So we don't really need extra stuff. Especially when it's not annoying and crappy like this. Now I put this in here for people that actually do their laundry. So pretty much every human being in the world. I know I'm a beauty channel. But I'm also a mother. So get over it. This is the Gain Fireworks, and this is, what are you? An in-wash scent booster. I call them my wash bees. I can't do laundry without these, and these are my favorite ones. They smell so good, and it leaves your laundry smelling like this for days. Whether they're in your drawers or in your closet or whatnot, they smell so good for days. Smell like they were just washed, even if you have them in your closet for a week. So I use this all the time and I will not do laundry until we go to the store and get them if I run out. They are kind of expensive which sucks but they're worth it and I can't live without these. I used up a thing of Cetaphil. Um, I don't really like this anymore. I have tried so many new cleansers that this just doesn't do it for me. My husband hates it. He says it leaves a film on his skin that he feels like he can't get off. I don't feel that way about it. I just don't think that it's a great cleanser. So I actually use this for my brushes and just clean my brushes with it. So I have, I got two of these for $11 at Target. So I have a whole other one that I'm just going to use for my brushes. I used up another thing of the Pond's Evening Soothe Makeup Wipes. Love them. I'm going to go back to Ollie's and see if they still have more of them because I'm not paying full price for them. But I like them for the $2 that they are at, at Ollie's. So I don't know why I'm stuttering. Another in scent washer booster thing that I loved was the Arm & Hammer. Now these are not so much more beads like the Gain, but they're like salt grains. And I use these and then put in the Gain beads and oh... Arm & Hammer makes some good stuff, and they are very underrated for a lot of stuff in the beauty world, you know, like just hygienic stuff. Arm & Hammer is actually really, really good. So if you guys can, if you have the means, check out some Arm & Hammer stuff. I mean, this was really, really good. The next thing I have in here, and I was debating, I was debating on even putting this in here um, because I just, I can feel the trolls and haters now going right to Guru Gosper. <laughs> Anyway, so this is the Vagistil Intimate Wash, and this is the Odor Block one. Now, I actually, the reason why I started, why I even grabbed this was because I was watching a YouTuber, and I think it was Curvy Metalhead Show, I think, and she was talking about some Vag Wash, and she was talking about this, but I actually looked it up, and I saw that they had the PH one, which is in a purple bottle. Well, I didn't really... I wasn't paying attention on Amazon when I ordered this and I got the odor block one which I don't really need an odor block I mean uh, my vag ain't stinky stink but I mean it does help you not be you know if you have like a naturally musky scent or something like that it, this will completely block it out um I did really really like this it's supposed to um odor block protection clinically tested gynecologist tested for sensitive skin, light and clean scent. I really did like this, but I actually wanted the pH balance one because I always have constant pH balance issues with my lady bits. So I wanted to get the pH one, which actually helps reverse those issues, which I have it now. It's in the purple bottle, but this one was okay while I had it. I just didn't know if you guys would want to talk about stinky badges, but this works good if you have one. The next thing I went through is the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Shine. I, um, Brittany X Beauty, I actually talked about her in a shout out video. She got me to buy this. I really, really like this, but she was right. It does make your shoulders and back break out. Like, I've had horrible back breaking, like, my back has been breaking out horribly since using this. So, I don't know if I'll repurchase it ever again. And the smell kind of smells like Play Doh, 
but what it does for your hair is like some serious shit like it's so shiny so soft it looks like I just styled it if I just let it air dry like I really do like it but I hate the smell and I hate how it makes my back break out so she was spot on with that one but it is a really good product I also went through another Dove wash, and you guys will be so shocked to know that I actually did not repurchase another Dove wash. I'm actually trying out something else that I really, really like, so I can't wait to talk to you guys about it. But yeah, this was the Pomegranate and Lemon Verbena. I got sick of this real quick. I did not like the scent of this at all, but as you guys know, Dove Body Wash is my jam. I love it. It's so moisturizing. I went through the sample of It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. I really do like this. I really do like this. Now, I don't think uh, that they're worth the price. I mean, the price is a little, like, outrageous for it, but they really work really nicely. So I'm definitely going to grab another one of these and just take it up the butt with the price because I really do like this product. It smells really freaking good, too. Candles! I went through a sandalwood candle, and this is from Brookside Candles. It wasn't really good. didn't have much of a smell. Went through the black tuxedo candle that I got from CJ Maxx for $7.99. This is life. I went through the banana nut bread, and this is from Empire Home, and this was crap too. I used the L'Oreal Frost in Design. Now, I do my own hair all the time. I always highlight it, cut it, style it. All of that is all Nikki up in here. That's why it looks like a hot mess. But this is the only highlighting system that I use. And it has different packaging than it's ever had before. But I use the caramel one, which is H65. And I love it. It is the cap. And, you know, you use a little knitting needle to pull out your hair, which can be a pain in the ass and is very time consuming. But I've noticed it has the best results in any kind of at home highlighting kit. So I really like this. Are you oh, what is that? Something is leaking. Something is leaking in here. Really disgusting. <laughs> but I used up two cotton rounds. What is that? I used up two cotton rounds. I used up the Swispers that I got at Walmart um, that were crazy, ridiculously expensive. But they are bomb. They're like a cloth versus a cotton. And they like one side is flat cotton and the other side is kind of edged and quilted. So you can really get in and like with your toner and stuff or whatever you want to use with it and get in and grab it. So I'm probably going to have to repurchase them once I can stop stuttering but I'm gonna have to repurchase them at some point but I'm kind of cringing because the price on cotton rounds is freaking you're getting robbed I used up my perfectly posh daily grind coffee scrub I loved this I do have another coffee scrub that I've been loving and it's from Svelta so I'm gonna use that up before I repurchase any other kind of scrubs but this was amazing I highly recommend grabbing this if you're gonna be purchasing from Perf perfectly posh <laughs> for all the mommies I highly recommend getting this this is at Big Lots it is the shapeable bath foam and berry scent this actually comes with a fake shaving kit, and I got it for my son, and he loved it. He didn't really play around too much with the shaving kit thing, but the foam, oh my god, he had to have it every single time he was in the shower. So I highly recommend grabbing this if you are a mommy, especially of a boy. I, they probably have girl kinds too, so if you have a younger child, this is just a lot of fun. Keep them entertained so you can wash them without hazardous stuff happening. It's a godsend. Ah, this is the culprit of that nasty stuff in there. This is the Dark Amber for Men. It's a two-in-one hair and body wash that we got at Bath and Body Works. Love the smell. Oh, it smells like cologne. I love manly scents. Love the smell of this, and he really liked it too, but my husband is not the type that's like, oh, what's it doing? It's just like coming out, but he's not the type that's just like, oh, I must have it. Oh! He is not the type that's just like, oh, you know, that's $12.99, but I like the smell so much I must have it. He's like, hell no, I'll just use Irish Spring Bar Soap for $0.99. Cents. I used up the Pearberry um, shower gel that Lily Beauty got me. Loved this. It went very, very fast, I can tell you. I love the scent of it, and I like Bath & Body Works shower gels. They're just not worth the price, so it's really hard to like go in and get them because I'm not paying that much for the size of a shower gel because I go through them so quickly. We used up the Retsilini Vitamin C Cleanser. We already repurchased this. This is my husband's favorite cleanser from their line. Love this. It's so great for like sun damage and acne, dark spots. I mean, it just does so much for you. It has so many vitamins in it. So yeah, we love this stuff in this house. We used up this Lucky Super Soft Body Wash in Ocean Fresh. Don't ever get this. I don't even know where you can find it. It was one of those rogue items under the sink that you find after like, it's probably from like 1995. It looks like it's from 1995. Don't get this. It's horrible. 
I used up the Ella Grace Rose Water Hydrating Toner. I was terrified of this day. This is like a little bit under $20. I think it's like 18 bucks. So I've been like wanting it and it's in my wish list on Amazon, but I'm like, Ugh. but I'm going to do it. I have to. This is the best toner I've ever ever used and if you like rose water rose so scented things this will be your best friend it's like seriously so good i just need to work up the nerve of realizing that i'm in love with an 18 dollar toner i used up the rimmel stay matte that i had for my project pan this baby is dead and gone i have a backup i haven't opened it yet because i'm using other setting powders love this it's so great for the price i mean it really really is for people that only like high-end and drugstore i mean this is just a great product now i had to go through my mascaras and ditch some of them because they are old and should not be in there so the first one is l'oreal voluminous full definition i really really did not like this it made my lashes super black though which is something that not a lot of mascaras do but it just didn't give me any volume and that's what it claimed and I've had it for so long that it stinks like a chemical lab so that is going. The next one is kind of sad to me because it's one of my favorites and it is the Voluminous Butterfly Intenza. I think this is L'Oreal too, is it not? Yeah, it's L'Oreal. This is really, really good. I love it. I've just had it way too long and it too smells like a chemical lab so that had to go too. The next one is Physician's Formula and this is their like sexy booster or something like that. This, I did not like this. This was horrible. I told you guys before that I didn't really care for it because it kind of like the thing here just kind of shoots up and then it started leaving way too much product on it. I mean, look, there just way too much product at the end of that and it made such a mess and the wand is so big and it's so hard to close. Like this is just I don't know if it's exactly the formula of the product or the packaging, but something about this just annoys me so, so bad. And the last one is the Power Volume 24 Hour Black Smoke. I'm pretty sure this is another L'Oreal one, another one that smells like a chemical lab. L'Oreal has a huge problem with their products being super, super smelly. And their um, mascaras usually aren't at first, but you know when a L'Oreal mascara goes bad because it smells disgusting and this one does um it doesn't do the whole black smoke this thing doesn't do anything special it's no holy grail mascara and it's old so it had to go so that is all the empties that i used up like i used up so many empties and i'm so glad i can just go throw them in the garbage now and i have to wash my basket because it is all disgusting now if you guys have any questions about anything i talked about or if you've used any of these and you have an opinion on them leave them in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye